Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Buzzing Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchalik and in this video I'll be going over shortcuts. Shortcuts are a great way to quickly add multiple items such as fringes, groups, sets, locations, currencies to lines of detail in your budget. I'm going to go over some of the basics of how to create them and add them and apply them. Okay, so here I am in a detail account, and I thought a good example of showing how shortcuts can be really useful is to use a, um, an electrician's account where you're going to have maybe a lot of crew members that are going to have the same fringes, maybe same groups applied, and, and even maybe the same currency. So uh, this is where shortcuts can really become useful and powerful. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to create a shortcut. One of them is to go up to the shortcuts menu, select create, and if you highlight the last line and hit retrieve detail settings, it's going to create a new line and basically pull in the fringes, groups, uh, sets, locations, currency of the currently uh, highlighted line in your detail. So I'm going to click retrieve detail settings. And as you can see, it pulled in the fringe settings. Uh, I don't have any sets or locations assigned to this line, but I do have a currency assigned to that line and a uh, group applied to that line. So it pulled in all that uh, data into this line. I can just assign a name to it. So I'm going to type in BTL and give it a description. And this add checkbox, if the checkbox is selected, it's going to basically append or add uh, the fringes and everything and groups to the line. So if there's already existing groups and fringes, it's just going to append it with this data. If that's unchecked, it's going to replace the currently existing fringes and groups with that data. I'm going to leave it with add. And uh, basically, I'm pretty much set here. So I can click OK. Now all I have to do is select a line or group of lines. And there's two ways to even apply them. I can go up to uh, Shortcuts, Apply, and select the one I want and notice it applied the fringes, groups, and even the currency to that line. Now another way I can do it is I can select another line or group of lines and hit Command M or Control M on PC and notice up here the go box changed to a different color and what that's indicating is now I can type in BTL and hit enter and notice it applied that shortcut to this line. So there's two different ways to do it. It depends on your workflow. If you like to just use the menu, you can do it that way, or just use the keyboard, you can do it another way. But there's another way you can create shortcuts, and that's sort of a, a manual method if you want. And I'm going to go up to Shortcuts, Create, and I'm just going to create a new line, add a row, and then I'm going to click on Create Detail Settings. And what this allows you to do is, instead of finding a line where all those details are already applied to it, you can cherry pick ones that are already set up. So you can select your fringes that you want, and I'm going to hold down Command and uh, select non-contiguous ones. Uh, you can select groups, uh, locations, sets, currencies, whatever you want. And then what you can do is click this button that says, uh, accept this selection, the selections from the list. So I'm going to click that and basically create them in that uh, new line that you created. And if you want, you can then clear the selections that you already have. But now I can give it a name. And once you've added a name, you've created a manual shortcut. So you can do this for other things too. And you would apply them the same ways that I described earlier to detail lines. But uh, one thing I wanted to show you you can actually change these shortcuts. So I can update this one to have a different group. So instead of Vancouver, I can select a different group, click the Apply button, and notice it changed the group. But it won't apply, it won't change the shortcuts that have already been applied. So it, it doesn't retroactively go through your budget and change it if you update any of these shortcuts. It just applies going forward. So that's just something to keep in mind. So that's some of the ways that you can set up and apply shortcuts. Now based on some of your suggestions that we got during the beta that ended July 1st, we're actually going to be making some tweaks and adjustments to shortcuts. But we'd still love to hear some feedback on it in the meantime. You can send that feedback to budgetingbeta at entertainmentpartners.com. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get updates on when we add new videos. And you can follow us on Twitter 
twitter.com slash movie underscore magic. And be sure to check our website, www.entertainmentpartners.com, for all our new products and services. Thanks for watching.